Massive jubilation in Igbo land as President Bola Tinibu received unexpected message over instant release of Inamdi Kanu. There is no doubt this is a good news to the people of the eastern region of the nation. To the people of the indigenous people of Biafra and to the Igbo land community generally. But how authentic is it? So you are welcome to Bliss Channel. If you are just joining us, please kindly do well to share and subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up. So, guys. Let's quickly hear the content and the details of the news. In a heartfelt plea, the family of Inamdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, High Pop, has penned an open letter to the South East governors consigning what they perceive as the unlawful detention and deteriorating head of Inamdi Kanu while in Nigerian government custody. The letter filed with consign and urgency sheds light on the grave situation faced by Inamdi Kanu and calls for immediate actions to address his condition and release him from detention. Recall that Inamdi Kanu's incarceration has been a subject of controversy and concern, sparking debates on human rights and due process. The open letter from his family amplifies this concerns, highlighting the humanitarian aspects of his detention and the alleged disregard for his well-being. According to the letter, Inamdi Kanu is reported to be gravely healed, seriously healed, and dying slowly, painting a grim picture of his physical state while in detention. The family's appeal to the Southeast governors carries significant weight considering their roles as regional leaders and representatives of the people. It underscores the importance of solidarity and advocacy for justice, especially in case where fundamental human rights are at stake. The letter serves as a reminder of the collective responsibilities to uphold the rights and dignity of all individuals, regardless of their affiliations or beliefs. It is worth to note that the family's assertion of Kanu's declining head had a sense of urgency to the plea. Head is a fundamental human right, and the deteriorating head of an individual, especially under questionable circumstances, demands immediate attention and intervention. The letters emphasize on Kanu's head serves as a pugnant appeal to prioritize his well-being 
and ensure that he receives the necessary medical care without further delay. The open letter also brings to light broader issues regarding the rule of law, fair trial, and inheritance to legal procedures. It raises questions about the legality and legitimacy of Kanu's detention, urging authorities to uphold justice and due process by addressing the Southeast governors directly. The family seeks accountability and action within the regional context, amplifying their call for justice and human rights. It is good to know that the open letter from Inamdi Kanu's family serves as a powerful plea for justice, highlighting the urgent need to address his detention and deteriorating health. It calls for and upon the certain governors to intervene, advocate for his rights, and ensure that he receives the necessary medical attention and fair treatment under the law. The letter resonates as a voice of concern urging collective actions and accountability in upholding human rights and dignity. I think it is high time the federal government pay more attention to this Inamdi Kanu head condition. Head is what they say, and it is the fundamental human right of every human being to live in good head. I just hope that let there be strong unity among the southeastern governors for them to intervene and advocate for the release of Inamdi Kanu as soon as possible. So guys, what are your views on this matter? Can you feel free to share your opinion on the comment section? And do not forget to share and subscribe. <music>